John Moran just he just finished an outstanding season with the Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies, on. man. So everything that John Moran does, he deserves to do it. And John, the way he just played for the Grizzlies, because he's he's the Grizzlies, Memphis Grizzlies first superstar. superstar. We've never had a superstar play for the Memphis Grizzlies. No, we haven't. Never. Ever. We've had stars, but they were local stars. Right. They were big in the city. But he's our first transcendent national star who's yes. on his way to being an international star. And the dude is a bowler. Man, dude hooping. Man, he's, man, that man's cold, man. Now, we're talking about LeBron being, being a billionaire because of his acumen, his smart business acumen, and you ain't never heard anything negative about Think about that, bro. LeBron, you ain't never heard LeBron being in trouble with the law? No. You ain't never him having uh, uh, any Ma other kind of problems? No marital problems? No. No problems. And if he does, it stays in the house where it's supposed to be. Exactly. See, but and John Moran is that transcendent talent, man. He only wait because, trust me, Hulu, Hulu, who, hey, Hulu paying him to do hey, that now. I've been watching his endorsement. I'm like, hey, my they guy. coming up there. Yes. The Grizzlies ain't never had nobody with them, in, them, no. them national endorsements like that, bro. No, they haven't. And he young. 22 years old, man. And, and and he's on his way because he's on his way to signing one of them $250 million. Man, my guy with a cabbage patch, man. <laughs> <laughs> he cabbage patching around this But time, the thing man. about it, man, how hard he plays and what he just did to, for the Memphis Grizzlies and, and the season he just put up, man. Mm -hmm. Dude deserves to enjoy his life. Yes. And recently he he did a live and I, he, he ended up and he did a live where I guess he's on vacation in Arizona or he yeah, was he, in vacation yeah, with Arizona. He was in Arizona with his pops and stuff, man. Yeah. He having fun, bro. Yeah, as he should. Show my guy, man. They lucky I can't sing pop. I take over the shit. <laughs> they, they lucky you know that too. They lucky you know you can't sing. They, they lucky I I know I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, take your shot, bro. Come on. Hey, you'll be walking around singing your name to people. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> hey, what I'm going to tell him, Pop? I'm John. I love that, man, because his dad, T, is right there with him, man. Now, John Moran on vacation, man. They're having fun. Uh, but apparently, you know, he caught some back, some some people backlashing him for that, bro. Why would you backlash this dude for having enjoying his money? A twenty-two year old. It's funny people forget how they had fun when they were younger. That it, it's that, and also it's like, man, we know you rich and you enjoying your life, but damn, don't show us you enjoying your life because it's jealousy. And it, that's bad, man. All the work this man put it. Now, I didn't show the whole video, but he having fun. He's old enough to drink. He a grown-ass man. Right. But this is my thing, bro, because he had to come back and say, damn, y'all know I'm human, too. I'm a professional, but I'm human, but I'm going to live my life. I'm going to pray for y'all. Mm -hmm. Because the fact of the matter, he's, he's enjoying his money. He's supposed to. But this is what, this is what I think a lot of the haters are missing. Did you see him out drinking in the club acting wild? No. He was drinking in his crib and with his a, partners. Hey, it's funny because people want him to be out acting all wild. Every time they have a problem, he's with his family. He's with his family. What, you mad about that? You mad that he enjoying his life and he ain't supposed to enjoy his life? He's supposed to still be in the gym? What the hell? You, what? <laughs> it's funny. These people acting like they, they the owners of the NBA teams and stuff. And I like the fact because at, at some point in the video, T... T was uh T his dad T was coming to somebody that was on the live. He was like, "Yeah, I got my back in the wall, look, back to the wall, looking at these young fellas, man. Young fellas out there enjoying the, his, his yeah. friends and who he who who he came up with. That's how you do it, man. Because yeah. almost every professional athlete, when they get to his status, like when I played for the Rams, I came back home, I had some money. Mm -hmm. So when we went out, guess who I went out with? My cats from the hood. Yeah. Guess who paid? Sometimes I, I did. Yeah." Teammates from, that was still in college at Memphis State who was broke. I got it. I got you. But the problem was that a lot of times we used to go to the club and they just walk in. They'd be like, he, I'd be like, hold on, man. Y'all got to quit doing that now. Hey, you did it, the Cedric Entertainer. Hold, hold, oh, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Hold on, dog. <laughs> we get to the door. They just look at me. Yeah. But I had to remember when I was playing for the Rams, I used to do that to cats that was making more money than me. We get to the door. <laughs> you got that? They're like, man, get it, man. You rich. That was your other rookie. Lawrence Phillips, you got that, bro. My boy Gerald Moore, Moore running back, you got it. 
All those were rookies together, but y'all, y'all got it. Y'all yeah. got more money than me. Yeah, y'all got that contract. But that's what happens, man. He's enjoying himself. He and haters hating on that. So he had to come. He had to come out and def- and and John Morant, you don't have to defend yourself to nobody, bro. Man, you drinking at the crib. You ain't driving. No. You got your partners around you. Right. Y'all at the house swimming, having a ball. Hell is wrong with him enjoying his money. What are you supposed to do with it? People see haters don't like to see that. No. Nope. They like damn. Damn. That's a bad characteristic, man. That's they waking up, alarm head. clock going off at 5 in the morning. They getting ready to go to a job. They hate to go to it. Need to be thankful for it. Man, you are correct. And the funny thing is, they didn't see this, man. They weren't with him when he was in the gym. They, 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 but see, he's showing you that. But he he probably, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in the gym now. Yeah, but. Man, or other times. Yeah, I'm talking about as far as the process of him getting to this point. And man, and when you get to that point, man, and you reach the point and you have childhood friends or you have friends with you that was with you when you were broken and struggling. Right. And striving through this like his dad is there every, you know, his dad it raised him, man. You want them to enjoy some of that. Yes. Because you you're you are the window for them to enter that world. Yes, because they said Josh's dad put his stuff on hold to train him. Yeah, and now and now he's training his, his daughter too. Cause I got a sister, he's training yeah. her too. So he's he's just being a black king, man, doing what he wanna do. Thank you. Doing what he's supposed to do. Which a lot of black kings I know doing that for their for their parents, I mean for their children and for their but my uh, for their families. But that's my point, bro. This this is what Ja had to tweet out. He said, just because I'm a professional basketball player, that does not make me less than human. So I'ma live it up, take care of people around me, and just be me. I'm sorry if y'all don't agree. I'll pray for y'all later. You're right, bro. Living it up and take care of the people around him because the people around him help take care of him. So just think, you coming up with your friends, right? Ain't none of y'all really got no money to help, but guess how they help out? Being supportive, man. Mm-hmm. Being real friends. Because it's hard to have real friends and real supporters out there. It's, it's, it's hard to find, to know who your real friends are. Mm-hmm. Like the scriptures say, a, a friend cannot be known in the day of prosperity and an enemy cannot be hidden in the day of adversity. You know what that mean? Everybody a friend when everything going good. Yep. And your enemy, somebody who really your enemy, they cannot be hidden in the day of adversity because the minute you fall, their ass is going to be right there cheering it. Yeah. You are correct on that one, man. So I said, John Morant, man, to hell with the man. Live your life, bro. You ain't doing nothing wrong because when I was 22, even at Memphis State, <laughs> that was tame what y'all got him doing. Hey, I know, right? Hey. Drinking from the – look, what? It's funny because I'm I'm knowing the things I've done when I was younger. I'm like, dude, that, what what he's doing is like like you said, tame. This, but people are gonna always have something to say. It's right? the thing they're gonna always have something to say, man. They're gonna always have something to say, and and I'll say this: when you're a professional athlete, like I was never on his level. Now I was I'm good around Memphis, so people mm-hmm. you know, but even when I was playing for the Rams in St. Louis. Professional athletes have a different reality, and the reality be warped. That's why you see a lot of of us get depressed when that's over because the real reality hits. Yeah. But when you're a professional athlete, man, you're giving thing you're giving things for free. You get in stuff free. Yes. People feed you free. They send you the most expensive things for free. That's so wild, man. You break laws and they turn the other way on you. Cause, yeah. Because I used to do that. So when I finally, when, when that was over and they finally locked me up for things I've been doing a thousand times, <laughs> like, I'm like, hold on, you, wait, you, hold on, you hold actually on. go to jail for fighting the police? Yeah. Yes. Where you been? They're like, I hadn't done this, you know what I'm saying? You actually go to jail for being, you know, doing, yeah, yeah, you go to jail. So the reality be warped, man. So I, I, I understand what it is, bro. But he's enjoying himself, enjoying his friends, and enjoying life. That's he drinking good. at the creek, he ain't driving. So, man, forget them folks, y'all. 